The Grand Wizards of the K -K -K Coast are at it again. Apparently, they're harassing YouTubers now using rent the cops because they know that the guy didn't commit any crime. So they thought it's a great idea to intimidate him. Uh, the real crime, though, is that uh, he plays Magic the Gathering and is trying to promote it to the world. I mean, that is kind of unforgivable, but uh, still not worthy of uh, what actually happened to him. So apparently he got uh, his hands on a pack, uh, which uh, the seller broke the street date and sold it earlier. So Magic the Gathering uh, sent the Pinkertons after him. Now, um, if you're not familiar with the U.S. history or you haven't played Red Dead Redemption... The Pinkertons are uh, one of the greatest examples that you can give to ANCAPs on why private cops are a bad idea. Uh, you see, they have like this uh, very interesting way of finding that the person their client sent after is actually guilty. I mean, their, their interest is with the people that are paying them, right? And in this case, is the client. So even uh, if the client sends them on some innocent person, they're still going to intimidate. They're still going to try their best in order to... Um, do what the client sent them to do. And in this case, like, the guy wasn't guilty of any crime, right? Like, he's a YouTuber. He went, he bought a pack of cards from a seller, which broke the street date. And if any crime was committed, it is the seller. But Magic the Gathering probably knows this, which is why they sent the Pickertons and didn't actually contact the cops. Which means that they were there to intimidate the guy, which they actually did, and uh, convinced him to take down any videos where... He posted those cards online. And uh, the way the Pinkertons intimidated is that uh, you, you get like uh, strong, armed, muscled men carrying guns, knocking at your door, um, showing you a piece of paper, threatening you with various uh, laws saying that, oh, well, if you don't uh, give the cards back, you're going to end up paying $200,000, you're going to go to jail. Uh, his wife started crying. I mean, it's like... This is the company, you know? This is the progressive, uh, modern, forward-thinking, anti-racist, anti-sexist company which uh, harasses YouTubers and uh, sends the Pinkertons after them. Uh, right, like, when they're not, you know... Look, they're, they're very busy individuals, uh, the, the Grand Wizards, and uh, when they're not uh, removing jokes and uh, removing sexismus from their game, uh, they're sending rent cops to their customers' doors. Now... Of course, the YouTuber eventually ceased and desist. Apparently, the Grand Wizards apologized for this. Absolutely ridiculous. I, I, I do not even know how this company even has some PR left. Like, it's astonishing. You know, the more shitty a company, the more progressive it is. Did you notice that? It's almost like they, they do these uh, woke virtue signals in order to hire their scummy behavior. Like, who does that? Who does that? Look, if someone actually broke the street date, it can happen, right? Like someone breaks an NDA. Yeah, you don't sell the cops after your customers. What is wrong with you, right? And they assume that he stole. Why would you even assume that a YouTuber stole it? I, another question, right? This is like not some random YouTuber that has like uh, two views. No, it's like a big name in the scene. So like, why would he steal it? Anyway, right, so uh, his wife started crying, and eventually uh, the, he had to actually do what the Pickertons told him. Um, and and uh, the Pickertons said, oh, well, you need to contact Wizards of the Coast and settle with them, right? Like, he should have said, oh, fuck off from my property, all right? Like, call the cops if you think I did something wrong, um, which he didn't. But it is what it is. Uh, let me know what you guys think, and as usual, I will see you in the comment section. Take care.